Uh, good morning. We're uh, back at the creek. Still going in on this ledge. I've diverted the um, water back over that way. Still a little bit coming through again. And I'll just show you, you can see these uh, sand layers. Looks like really good dirt. Like as I um, as I dig the, uh, the dirt out from underneath them. You say, look at that. That's beautiful sand. And that's how it gets trapped, you know, you can see all the sand in there. There, there. Who knows, you might find a nugget today. I'll keep going. I mean I really could just keep going forever, like right up this ledge. Right along and I just backfill it in behind me. Remember that's the original hole, it's throwing me rocks in there. But seems to be um, paying off this bit, and then you can see why. It's good, and because there's a ledge of bedrock here, any dirt I dig out or wash out still stays in. Like you can hear that bedrock there. Doesn't get washed away. And then when I finish, I try to clean it up as much as I can, so, you know, if it rains, I won't lose too much. Like I block this little area off here. And keep the sand, and when I first come in, I clean this out and then go again. So I'm going to do some big runs this week. I'll do at least probably four days. That'll be the most I've ever done and we'll see how much of gold we get. Alright. Yeah. I thought I'd show you um, how the how they sort of how the rocks and that work. Like you can see here there's a big sweeping corner. So as the water in a flood comes roaring around there all the force will go to that outside edge around here through here and as the gold hits the rocks it'll drop out and then on this inside bend through here there'll be slack water so the gold will drop out there as well a lot of it will sink into the bottom and rip straight through and that's where you got to find that spot but you know I'm I could be here forever really I'm just going to keep digging right up here I'll be able to come up through this centre channel. So, pretty much every single one of these rocks will work as a riffle, you know, and drop, drop gold out in a flood. Don't get that big a flood through here, because this, this isn't a very long creek, like maybe, oh, it's hard to say, five, ten kilometres. But because it runs through this, the quartz veins, that's why it's got so much gold. And it's actually dammed down at the end. Uh, it's looking pretty good. Great dirt through here. And because this, I mean, this is almost, it's not a waterfall, but it's, you know, it's a, it's a slope. And the bedrock is stepping up, up, like you can see the gravel. But it's washing out through here, and it just sits there, and I just shovel it off. Pull some rocks out, the water runs it through again. Just keep shoveling. And then usually, like my last bucket, I'll get, get all the cracks and clean them out. Uh, it's a long time for this spot, but I'll probably part of the videos I'll because this is a this is an old gold area. It's not as famous as Bendigo Ballarat, which is in central Victoria in Australia. But this same lead runs right through West Gippsland up to Walla Halla, which was a massive gold area, right through to Woods Point, which actually has a gold mine that only opened a couple of years ago, reopened after a long time. So it's a pretty good gold area. Not, I mean, not, I've never seen any way out of here panning. Any of these creeks, any time I've been panning, I've never seen another person. And I think just most people, like even though I heard the local, um, the local fossicking club, they go on trips up to Bendigo and Ballarat when they've got this right here. And the videos I see from Bendigo and Ballarat, most of them, they find big, big nuggets with the detectors. But if you're into, you know, panning, you don't need to travel that far. Oh, that's what I was saying. So, yeah, I'll, I'll probably go and do, probably next spring, I'll do trips. I'll do a three-day weekend trip. We'll see if you can find gold in other spots. I'd be disappointed if I travel, waste all that petrol, and I don't find the gold that I find in here. <laughs> but it'd be good to get away, do a bit of camping. 
and we'll see how we go. Got a good feeling about today. I'll come back when I start to loose up. Just thought I'd um, show you. I've worked my way in towards the bank here. Let me see the bank there. And this. You can see that bluey colour. This is bedrock. Right here. And then. So here's this log. Here's some more bedrock here. Now, I'm not sure if you can see under there. See that gravel that's trapped? Wash a bit out. You see that gravel coming out? That is perfect for finding gold. We can see here uh, this crack. That's the sort of thing that traps nuggets and gold. So we've got a crack in the bedrock. And you can see the water runs through here, like there's plenty of leaching, so as the water runs through the bank, trickles out through the quartz veins and erodes it, that's what brings the gold down. So this is probably the best one I've ever found. Well technically let's see if there's any gold in it. But I've done a separate bucket just for this area. I've never come in so close to the bank. I'm almost you know right on the edge. But you can see like, as those as those rivers form they actually come down like down the mountain to find their spot so if you actually have a riverbed, the riverbed is a lot bigger than the river as it's moved, you know. So I'll just keep this big rock here is going to be an issue. If it's solid, I'm going to get him out. Well, that'll be the key in getting up through here. You can see the rock coming out of the bank there. I'll like even just uh, here. You can see the quartz veins running through here, all here. That's a beautiful spot. It's actually changed a little bit there, there's a bit of white clay in there. But I'll take a bit more care, like I'll scrape those cracks out, screwdriver. Like you might find, might find more gold in a little tiny spot like that than you will in a massive hole. And it's a lot harder, it's a lot harder pack in here than it is here. There's less liquefaction as the water runs through it, so it packs down nice and hard. No well, fingers crossed. Alright, back at the creek this morning. Hey, um, Braden was using my miner's moss the other day for a lake when he was playing cars and I've left it at home. So rather than just waste the petrol, I thought I'll just snipe all these holes today, clean it right out. So what I'll do is I'll screen it right down fine and take the buckets home so you know, I might be able to really do nine buckets and take them home and run them through there. The other day I pulled gold out of this hole, this little one, and I thought it was just that was the base of the bedrock and today I was messing about with it and kept just cleaning it, cleaning it, cleaning it up and look at that, it's way, way, way deeper. So I'll keep working it. See the, oh, there's a bit of bedrock there that's cracked. One thing you gotta do every time you pull a rock out, make sure you clean it off in your bucket. The gold can stick on the bottom, you can see there all the mud. That'll be a slow day, but I really didn't want to um, waste the petrol coming out here. Just means I've got to lug the buckets up to the car. But not too bad. And today's Thursday, so Friday, Saturday, Sunday up here as well. Let's see how we go. So I'll imagine I'll make a fair dent in all this. But now it makes me wonder, you know, what's down deeper? No, I can snipe as much of that out as I can. It's a beautiful day. Nice and sunny and clear. It's actually warm, it's probably 20 degrees. Alright, back to it. Alright, it's the um, end of the day on Friday. You can see how much I've dug out. That old hole, I'm filling it all in. It's starting to look normal again. And this, that's just the gold out of the top of the, um, the sluice box that I was snuffing out as I went. It's awesome. I ran, uh, what did I run? 
four, five, six, and eight buckets today. Two of those buckets were the concentrated ones from yesterday. I couldn't be bothered taking them home, I just left them here. But that's amazing. Look at that. That's a lot of gold. So it'll be interesting to see what's in me concentrates. Like I said, that's just from that from the matting at the top. I'm just snuffing it out each after each bucket. So another two days to go. Let's see how we go. So in here's a good spot. Move tons of rocks. Tons. See it in. Right, I've had enough of the mozzies. Go home, put my feet up. Well, I'll go home and let's be honest, pan that out because I'm excited. <laughs> Till tomorrow. Alright, we just finished the clean out from today. Looks pretty good. Look at that. Wow, basketball! There's quite a few good ones in there. Chloe, can you come and hold this again? Tilt it towards the sun though. Oh, it's the end of another day, and yes. well, good day, mate. Mm. Did we find some gold today. Yes. You have fun. Yes. No. Right. We got a couple of real good chunks. I found a hole down there. Look at that one. And that one. I didn't come yesterday, but I did. Oh, I did three days. That's a massive chunk. That's pretty good. So I'll do a clean up and all that stuff. Like this is just out of the matting at the top. And we'll see how much we got for the three days. Uh, that's the uh, where I've been digging. You can see um, that's all filled in there. And then here, that's a really deep hole I found. Like this is all pretty much flat bedrock. Steps down over there. And every now and then you find a little hole. That was the last bucket I ran and I found a couple of real big chunks in there. That's looking good. Probably get work in the way behind that log a bit more next time. Then go home and have a look at how much gold we got. Yeah, this is um I did seven hours all up this week. Three hours, three hours and did um oh, a bit over an hour. Well we'll call it eight hours probably. I got just over half a gram. Well, it's definitely getting better. I mean, really, for that, what would you want? Mm, two grams, probably, I'd be happy with. That's half. So I'm getting better. We'll see how we go next week. Got a good couple of chunks. Seem to be in a better spot now. But a high bank is probably going to be the way, so I can get, you know, just spend all day shoveling rather than the buckets and the screening. Good things come to those who wait.